is a tank pad kit, R1200GS Adventure, liquid cooled by Wanderlich. Next, Rider Cam TV Special. We're going to fit some tank pads. It's a tank pad kit, R1200GS Adventure, liquid cooled by Wanderlich. Hope you can see that. Look at that. Now, these tank pads, I picked these tank pads because. Oh, because these are really quite thick and I really like the fact that they're thick but they're also spongy and they've got quite a nice feel on your knees not that you ever ride naked or anything but I don't know do you? no <laughs> what a revelation <laughs> um, I really like them they've got this little cut out here so that you know that your knees there I've never really noticed them when I've been riding but they're nice and soft and I'm really quite paranoid about about scratching the tank here if I forget to do my zip up at the bottom of my kit um, and I don't want to damage the paintwork and I have noticed that when you're riding rather vigorously it is quite nice when you do grip the tank to actually have something that goes against your um, your trousers and stuff that gives a bit of friction rather than it being quite slippery so we're gonna fit them now you can see I've got a rather big knife here and it's because I bite my nails and it's really bad but on the back of the pads hopefully you can see that all this green the green bit is just where the adhesive or the the um, spongy bits that have got all the gluey bits on there that's got to come off and then what I'm going to do is it's going to fit just in the middle now I'm a little bit anal where I like to put it and I want to get it as as central as I can and I'm going to leave this gap here and in the instructions it's got to leave that there was contemplating putting it in there but I think if I do that the tension from where the tank bends down and goes flat I think will in time knock the adhesive off so I'm going to come straight back up there and it will just give me a bit of peace of mind so yeah. what we have done is we've cleaned the tank and the side where these these bits are going to go just with a little bit of alcohol cleaner just to make sure that there's no goo and dirt from our once was muddy bike, but we solved that on an earlier issue by putting a mudsling on, thanks BMW. So, did you really clean it? I don't remember that. I cleaned my bike. No, I mean with the alcohol. Yeah, I remember you drinking it. <laughs> uh, not that sort of alcohol. The potential for you slicing your fingers up. Look, look, never cut towards you. I'm not cutting. God. I'm unsheathing. Carry a knife, take a life. You are really bad. <laughs> right. Right, I'm going to try and get this where I want, so that's kind of about there, isn't it? So I've done this before, I did this before on my last bite, and what I did, because the adhesive strip is only around the outside, I did the bottom first just to make sure that I got the right amount there and the right amount there and then I just ran my finger up each side and across the top and what I did notice you had to do is just for a couple of minutes just spend some time putting some really, really yeah I know what you're thinking about you're so rude it's putting some quite hard pressure in an up and down motion <laughs> just to make sure that the adhesive has just stuck to the bike but I tell you what I had that bike the one before six to seven perhaps eight months and no issue in any weather that I took it out bear in mind Mark and I ride in all weathers wind rain snow sleet snail smell snail hail that's snail. it hail um, snails and in Cornwall not once did I have an issue now we just a word of warning when you have done this because, there's, because of the plastic, it does sheet your hands with some, it's almost like really slippery after you've done it. So just wash your hands if you're gonna do something that you rely on, so a bit of grip. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, you just make me laugh. Bro, all right, that's that one done. You just taking the last little bit of plastic off there, that, that one? Yeah, the last little bit. Of and I've not injured myself yet. Which and is no um, children were hurt in the making of this. <laughs> no, and no adults, surprisingly enough. Oh, we haven't finished yet. We are like big children. 
Right. Now this one, same principle. Now, if you notice down the bottom, hopefully you'll be able to see that wording, CSS Germany. It's presumably the people that have made it. And no, well there is writing down there, so I've made sure that the writing's up the right way. And I'm gonna have to get that down on the floor for this. We have a massive bike shed here, as you can see. Yes, yeah, huge. Now, I like to, um, I'm, I'm really quite anal, as I said on there. I like to have the same gap there before the tank goes in. And I also want it to be flat underneath the GS. There's some people who just chuck it on. Up to you if you want to chuck it on, but. Yeah, I'd probably do that. <laughs> for, a bike, for a bike that looks this good, you can't just chuck stuff on. And there we are, tank pad, Fitted. awesome. People are know you when you've got that on there. Not everybody's got them. All right, Toby squatted down there at the side of the bike in our compact and bijou bike shed. Yeah, it's a massive bike shed. So same distance across from the top and I'm kind of sticking it on, on the top of the GS first. And it's all done by eye. So my eye's probably totally wrong, but I've got a nice gap there all the way down the bottom and I've got a tiny gap there and it's flat. Just a bit of pressure. So that is our quick review of the Wonderlich tank bad set for the 1200 Adventure. About 40 quid, but I think worth it, not only to give you a bit of purchase when you're holding on to the tank on your knees, a bit of peace of mind on the tank so it's not, doesn't get scratched, but I actually think they look a lot better than a lot of the other aftermarket ones. And yet again, it's another thing I've got to say, it's another thing that I really think that BMW should put things like this, 16,000 pounds for a bike, and you've even got to buy little pads to connect, to uh, protect the tank. So um, if you've enjoyed the review, thumbs up, and we'll put down in the description where we got them from. So pop along and have a look and go and buy them, stick them on your bike. Send us a video of you fitting them on yours.